Hey guys, it's Phaedra from All Things Phaedra, and this is a sponsored video, but I only take sponsorships from providers of really cool stuff. So if you like really cool stuff, you're going to want to stick around because I've got something that's going to make your life and your phone's life a whole lot easier. But before I do that, if you like really cool stuff or really cool cars or travel or entertainment or even the occasional beauty product, you're going to want to hit the subscribe button so you can come back and see more stuff like this. This is what we're talking about today. And if you're not sure how to say it, it's called the QB, the QB Duo. And it looks just like this. What is this magical little device? Well, this is the device that's going to save you from losing tons of data on your phone. It's going to save you money because you won't have to use iCloud anymore. And it's going to give you a little bit of peace of mind because you're going to take back some of the power of your own data and your own photos and your own information, and you're going to keep them local and secure. So what is a QB? A QB is a little device that you attach to your phone charger. It has a slot for a micro SD card. And this one in particular has a USB-C outlet on the front and on the back. And this is going to piggyback onto your phone charger. And every time you plug in your phone to charge it, it's going to automatically download all your photos, all your contacts, whatever you tell it to download. It could be your tweets, it could be your Facebook data, it could be your Instagram photos. It's going to automatically back it up and it's going to put it on an SD card. So in order to make all this work, you're going to need something in addition to the QB device. You're going to need some peripherals. The first thing that you're going to need is a micro SD card. I recommend using high quality micro SD cards and SD cards like this one from SanDisk. This is a high speed, high capacity SD card, 128 gigabytes. Now, they do recommend that you get an SD card that is at least equivalent to the size of your phone. I happen to have an iPhone that has a 256 gigabyte capacity, so we're going to see how that works. This is Ideally, I would want a larger SD card, but we're going to go ahead and try this because it's not doing a full iPhone backup. It's just backing up your data. The other thing that you're going to want is you're going to want a charging cord. Now, if you get the QB that has a USB-A port on the back, that's going to plug right into your iPhone charger. But if you are using an Android phone or you have this QB device which has a USB-C port on it, you're going to want to get a USB-C to lightning cable adapter. And then the last thing that you'll need, and you may already have it, especially if you have an Android phone, is you're going to want a USB-C power charger. You can use your regular iPhone charger if you happen to have an iPhone as long as you have the QB with the USB-A port. I'm only talking about the USB-C device here. If you're not familiar with USB-C, it's this type of port. Most of the phones and devices, including Apple, are going towards this because it's more of a universal adapter. Before I went down this journey, I looked at the quick start guide and there were two things that I needed to do. The first one was download their app and that allows you to access all of your data. And the second thing is, I looked at my phone and I said, how much do I really have on my phone? And I decided to take stock of that and my life a little bit. If you're on an iPhone, you may want to do a quick assessment here. Go to Settings, General, iPhone Storage and you'll get a quick indication of the size of your phone, in case you don't know, and what is taking up all the space on your phone. So I went through and looked at all of the apps that I have on my phone that I don't ever use. And I went ahead and deleted those. I also looked at the videos that I have on storage. I shoot a lot of video, some of it on my phone, and there were a lot of things that I could just delete because I don't want to back up things that I don't really care about. Now, most of my photos have already been backed up onto my computer, but I don't do it regularly. So the idea behind this is that you don't have to think about, did I back it up? When was the last time I backed it up? It will incrementally back up your data to 
a micro SD card. And then you can use that micro SD card at any time to transfer it to an external drive, to your computer hard drive, or whatever you want. Now, if you're worried that it just won't provide enough storage, even though I'm using a 128 gigabyte card here, you can use up to a two terabyte card in this little device right here. So all we're gonna do is insert the SD card. You're going to take this device and you're going to plug it into your charger, whatever charger you use. You're going to add, in this case for Apple, the USB-C to lightning cable to the end, plug it into the wall, and plug in your phone. And that's it. And what it's going to do is it's going to charge your phone, but at the same time, it's going to be backing up all of your photos. I got to be honest, I have about 10,000 photos on my phone. I know, I have a problem. So I'm going to see how it does with a smaller SD card, and I'm going to see how quickly it does that, and I'm going to report back to you. All right, welcome to my high-tech environment. This is my office, and I'm on the floor of my office. And so just to remind you, I've got a couple different things here. This is the QB device. All I've done is place an SD card into the slot in the back, and I'm going to put this in the back of the phone charger. I'm going to put the USB-C cable in the back there. I'm going to plug it in. And now we are going to plug the phone in. I did actually download the QB app right here. Ooh. Already the technology's smarter than I am. So I had downloaded the QB app, and when I went to plug it in, it told me I actually need the QB Pro app. On Amazon, the link is down below for this product on Amazon, it says that the 128 gig card, which is what I have, will hold 68 thousand photos, 180 hours of videos, 32,000 songs, and exactly zero monthly fees. So we are going to launch the app now. We're going to go through the process. It'll ask you to allow permission to access your photos, and you're going to want to allow access to all photos, allow access to contacts, and this is something that I wanted to talk about as well. I am granting access to my contacts. I also read their privacy statement in detail. You know that long thing that you have to scroll through and agree to? I read the entire thing. And they don't use your information. They don't collect it. They don't have access to it. The only thing they have is your name and your email address and any anonymized data. But they do not have access to your contacts. It's asking me if I want to download any of my social media information, which I may do in the future, but right now I'm going to say maybe later. And it asks you if you want to set a password for privacy. I'm going to say no for right now. And I am going to start the full backup. Now this is a full backup, so this is the longest I expect it to take. And it says it's backing up 9,870 items. So as with any updates that you would be doing to your iPhone when you're connected to your, to your computer, you're going to want to keep this plugged in. You don't want to unplug it in the middle of the backup. If you need to stop it for whatever reason, you simply stop it until it's safe to disconnect. So it's not like, oh, I've got to wait hours. So um, I expect this to take some time. So I'm going to come back and let you know when it's all done. Okay, the backup is all done, and that took almost exactly two hours, just two minutes shy of two hours. I don't know if you can tell here, but I used a 128 gig card, and it actually only used 83 gig of that card. While we're right here, let's talk about this feature right here. So with the QB Duo, you have the option to enable this SD lock, and what that does is it password protects your SD card so that no one can access your content if they get a hold of your QB. So I had a lot of photos and probably a lot of these need to go bye-bye. But if I'm looking at this here, you have three options now in the app. One is you can browse your photos. So here's your full backup of all your photos. Uh, yeah, that's all of them. 
and they are organized just like your iPhone photos would be. And the other thing that you can do is you can do a full backup of everything to QB. Now, why would you want to do this? Well, because subsequent backups are going to take significantly less time because QB is only going to back up those photos and those contacts that are new since the last backup. And then the last thing you can do is restore. So if something happens to your phone and you want to put everything back on there, you've got your full backup right here. That is through the app as long as you are connected to your QB device right here. You can also connect this device directly to your computer through either the USB-A or USB-C port, depending on what your computer has and depending on which QB you have. So my lighting has totally changed because that was a two hour backup, but well worth it because I hadn't done that in a while for my photos. It's a nice little system and it's as simple as putting an SD card in your QB device, plugging the device, into a wall outlet and then plugging everything into your phone and into the wall and that's it and if you set this up somewhere where you normally charge your phone that means that every time you sit down and every time you plug your phone in it's going to do an automatic backup in fact I just did a test I took a couple photos around my office and when I plugged it in it immediately downloaded the additional photos that had been taken and then it was all done. So it's a really nice handy device, really easy to make sure that your photos are secure and the benefits are you don't have to use iCloud. So that means you don't have to pay Apple ridiculous storage fees every month and your data is secure. Did you know Apple has the right to access all of your photos? They only protect your privacy if you don't use the cloud. So if you're concerned about your privacy, and you probably should be. Keep everything local and check out the QB, the QB Pro, the QB Duo. They are available on Amazon or from the MacTar website. I've put all the links down below. So thanks for joining me and I hope you'll stick around next time for some more really cool stuff.